Okay, so here we have an AoE2 game I was playing a couple days ago. This was one of my games, actually, and it was pretty interesting. It was a little bit back and forth, and hopefully something worth watching. In the red, we have Grape Juice as the Georgians. And in the green, we have myself as the Teutons. So this map, we have berries around the town center and a lot of fish in the middle could be worth docking to get how much is this 675 food out of that and then plus you have 2600 food in shore fish so definitely worth taking advantage of that and then the real specialty is you have these four gold piles that are all treed in so you have to cut to it to get the majority of your gold you do have two two tile golds you have stone uh, excuse me, here we go. Stone dotted around the map. And, of course, relics. But the real thing, it's kind of like Gold Rush, but with kind of more steps, makes it a little more interesting. And you also have to walk a bit farther for your wood, because if you walk over here, that's a little bit closer, but then you're not getting closer to the gold, so you have to walk a bit farther. You also can't wall on this terrain. So it's harder to protect, that's for sure. And, of course, Georgians having the mule cart, not having to worry about making a lumber camp early, so they save a bit of wood that way. Red has a little bit of idle villager here. Come on. There you go. There we go. Much better. Idle t as far as idle TC, both players doing all right. For reference, I, myself, being the way that I am, am only around 1,000 elo. 1100 to be exact same with grape juice he has been anywhere between 900 and 1100 as far as i am aware and as you can see <laughs> my idle tc time starting to creep up there a little bit idle eco he still has more idle eco than me but i do have a bit more idle tc time you can also see I am a little bit sloppy in this case. I pushed my deer, but very spread out there. This villager was not supposed to uh, get that right away. So I am by no means a pro player, but I'm getting better. And I think one of the things that will help me get better is reflecting on my games. And why not share that with all of you? So red, of course, docks, immediately puts out fishing ships, gets a bit of an economic lead because you effectively have two economic production buildings. 18, yeah, see, 18 economic units to 15. Oh. He has yet to get loom. Villagers are a little bit weak, but there's two of them. And this is... Oh, he's getting Loom right now as we're in this fight. So I... Loom comes in, and I get the kill. <laughs> that timing. So I pick up a little villager to try to close that gap. But I am sure that made it harder for me to produce villagers because I am bad. But we have eight on wood in the Dark Age. Seems like a little bit excessive since he's not clicked up yet, but... I guess not, because you're producing fishing ships, so never mind, that makes sense. That was just me being dumb. I told my scout to go over here, was dealing with other things, and the villagers smacked it when I wasn't paying attention. But I come forward with a mill. Why I didn't dock? That's uh, a very good question. I absolutely should have. I don't know why he... That did not seem like a fair trade to get a couple smacks, but lose that much health. But, you know, tiny little bit of idle eco time is something. He is on his way up to feudal before me. I finish this villager. I idle my economy. <laughs> and I go up. So, a little sloppy. And yeah, actually looking at the ILC t TC time, that's rough for Dark Age. I have a lot I can improve on there, clearly. Granted, I never played on this map, but if I want to be any good at this game, I need to improve on that. That is pretty terrible. And resources collected, he is a decent bit ahead of me. So already, and that's shown by the score as well, I am a bit behind. But as he gets up to feudal, he has a barracks. 
It's a lot more bills on the shorefish, really taking advantage of that. No mill, because Doc was his second building. He has already cut through to his gold. I have yet to make it there. How much left is on this? Oh, it's going to run out soon. 65 go uh, wood left on that, but he has made it to his gold. If he wanted to use it, and he makes it to feudal. Immediately throws down a stable, because Georgian's, you know, rather predictable there. I reach feudal. Same deal, throw down a stable. Only with one vill, so I'm taking too long there. I had all these vills here. I probably should have done that a bit faster, because I knew I was behind. He had the stable. My scout is dead, so keep in mind, I can't, I can't see this. He has scouts coming out. Georgian's... You notice that scout's going to regenerate health, because Georgian's bonus. And I have scouts coming out as well. He gets on gold over here. Not over here, at least not yet. Eco upgrades coming in for both. He gets town watch, I do not. And he goes and starts smacking my villagers and gets a vill kill. And in my attempt to distract him, I totally just wasted a scout on that. And he's chasing after me here. I spring the trap. You get a spearman. But honestly, not great trading here. I'm not doing well in feudal age here. But he does throw that scout away. I leave this guy to protect my wood line. And I have upgrades. I have A upgrade. I have the attack upgrade. He does not. So I am technically at an advantage here. And overall, hasn't caused much damage to my eco, but I've caused virtually zero damage to his eco. So market coming in for him as he starts thinking about castle age. Meanwhile, I am nowhere near that. Only getting one on gold. And Bill County's five bills ahead. And he has horse collar. I do not yet. So currently, through, from from the very beginning, he has been leading. As I go up to try to make a tower. And it does not go very well for me. And I abandon that pretty quickly. Clearly not able to handle that kind of thing. And then this player told me later, he always loves to see when people take a tower. People try to tower rush him. He's very good at defending against that. So now I've wasted stone. I've wasted wood. I've wasted six villagers of time. He's on his way up to castle. I'm floating wood. Not making fishing ships with it. Basically a disaster state right now. Like, pushing in with the scout rush. I get a vill kill. Don't lose a scout. Nearly lose a scout. I don't lose a scout. Vill count is even. So I have pretty effectively caught up by this point. However, vill count's even. He's going to be in castle age well before me. Meanwhile, these are idle. I'm throwing down farms as I desperately try to get my way up. Doing some damage here. Get way too close to the town center. But once again, don't lose a scout because the town center targeted a full health one. But that was not a good idea there. It did some damage, sure, but I very easily could have lost my whole stuff going on here. Meanwhile, this is relatively untouchable, but if I poke in right there, I could probably get some damage done. I'm getting wheelbarrow, and will likely go up at the end. Notice how I have 300 food just sitting there. That's much faster and cheaper than these farms. Why I did that? Couldn't tell you. I mean, he is well in castle age. I have yet to go up. Adds a second stable. Adds knights coming out. I try to kill that bill. Lose a scout. Two scouts. Now a scout on one HP. Meanwhile, he is raiding with his knights. It's unfortunate I quick wall here, but I missed that. I'm walling up this side since I know more knights are going to be coming. And I am alive. He's doing quite the walling, quote unquote, over here. So, 
let's talk about these villagers. They just walked right under his town center. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I meant to, in this recording, check what happened there. And I honestly have no clue where these villagers went. So I am effectively three villagers down. So this is really 32 to 39. Not good. But I'm up to castle. I've been up to castle. I have plenty of resources to play with once we get there. He's currently still getting knights coming out, getting upgrades. He needs his attack and armor upgrades, which he still doesn't have. He's got some idle army here. I'm walled up, pretty protected here. I've got things figured out over here. My only exposed stuff is right there. And then I'm safe here. He notices those vills, comes and takes them out. 32 to 41 vills. Of course, I'm on my way up to Castle Age. He is now on two TCs. With four knights to protect himself, which if he came and tried, he should really be smacking me at this point with those four knights. Cause him some pressure, even if I'm just going to wall it up here. Castle hits, I immediately drop a TC. And I throw some villagers on stone. As well as these. So I have ten villagers on stone. Trying to get up for some kind of defensive castle. He finally comes forward with his knights. Villagers here. Moving to drop a castle right here. Obviously not in range of anything. But because I didn't have enough villagers right near there. I wanted it not to be seen. But rather with my income and such. I wanted to be able to sneakily produce and hit him from the side. So he comes in. He has his numbers. Now looking at this. 5 v 8. And given that his are all full health, I can't take that fight. And he has his attack upgrade now. I have my Castle Age attack upgrade, but I will lose this. But, I see the villagers come in. I realize what's going to happen here. I'm about to get Castle dropped and lose access to this gold. Meanwhile, he has no idea that this castle is here. This is all he can see. He hasn't even discovered what I have going on over there. Castles go up. Villagers die. Why I didn't run those villagers away? Throw them on stone or something so I don't lose two villagers? I don't know. Two TCs. 58 bills, 59 bills, 76. He finds my stuff here. There is a hole in my wall because I overchopped. Lose a bill. He has many knights at this point. 11 knights at this point. Five there but not looking good but I still am floating so many resources that I'm not doing anything with I could have bought stone dropped a third TC be pumping out more bills try to catch up on the economy I have this going now pumping out Teutonic Knights Wow this is when he discovers my castle I didn't even notice that and he castle drops my other line so I'm about to lose access to both my golds still have 750 here so I have a total of what is this 1800 gold that I can use at home but I will lose access to this meanwhile just trying to constantly produce and build up the numbers lose several more bills 64 bills to 90 he has the economic lead he's using more of his resources I am floating resources trying to produce two tonic knights I need to just queue up a bunch of them I have the resources or What's that? Meanwhile, he nowhere close to Imperial Age. I'm still getting up there on the stone. I see a siege workshop from him. I didn't see that coming. I don't even remember him doing anything with that. Let's see. He's three TCs, 95 bills, I'm 63, up to imp. I completely abandoned this area because I just needed wood. I can't do anything with that castle there. I could probably still be chopping here, but. Yeah, actually, and not only could I chop there, I could have been getting gold right there, and I wasn't. This is where the range mod is very helpful. This is also where he should have been getting fletching and vodka and arrow, and then he would have still ranged that. 
Same deal here. If I was chopped in right here, I could have just been chopping in over there. See these things you don't. I wasn't thinking about in the moment, but hindsight being what it is, these are the things I need to think about next time I'm in a situation like this. Up to eight Teutonic Knights, but with so much idle castle time. Still pumping out a few villagers, but obviously 30 villagers behind. But I get some serious raiding on that wood line. I mean, that is devastating. He loses access to that gold. Thankfully, he's chopping his way to this gold. I have not done anything to stop that. Still haven't done anything over here. Adding a third TC. But I hit Imperial Age. He knows that this castle is here. He starts adding walls. Now, I do remember from my point of view, I didn't know. First of all, I didn't know this was here. And I didn't know that he knew I was here. I assumed he didn't. And then when I came forward and saw the walls, I was like, dang. When did he figure it out? When in reality, he figured it out a long time ago. Still hasn't done anything with this siege workshop. But you'll notice, I've got two trebuchets coming up. And almost have enough for another castle. But still, while I now know that I could have been taking that gold, I need to get the range mod again, and I could have been chopping through to here, I am about to run out of gold over here. Going there with my Teutonic Knights. I don't quite have full upgrades. There comes the armor upgrade. Went in there a little bit early, and I lose a little bit of HP to those Anaspa. But I don't believe I lost a single... Teutonic Knight. Adding a monastery. I find all of this here and get some serious raiding in. Meanwhile, I'm adding a castle here. I have trebuchets. Up to the castle. Booming up, catching up in bills because of how many bills I've killed. I now have the bill lead. This castle will go up. Lose all my knights to his cavalry. Lose a significant portion. I guess I don't lose all of them, but... Teutonic Knights, of course, do quite well against Knights in melee, because Teutonic Knights are just amazing melee units, but they don't do as well against Archers. We're in the town center, but he does not have a full garrison town center. So six Pierce Armor, and he has no fletching, no nothing to help with Imperial Age upgrades. That's really something we don't want to forget. Even against these Castle Age Knights, they're taking a lot of volleys. My five villagers is it's easy. He's adding a third town center. I get my castle up. I've got a trebuchet coming. Pushing with more trap here. And more Teutonic Knights. And work on getting that castle down. So at this point, he has a lot of wood. Does not have enough gold. He's way behind on villagers. I've taken the bill lead. He may or may not have enough numbers to take these on, but because he doesn't have upgrades, he would lose absolutely against this. So now maybe Siege Onager, Archers, something. So what do you do? He's still on three TCs because he's been adding more, but he's not producing out of all three of them. He's not producing any military units. Could have maybe gone some more fish, but this castle goes down. I'm back on gold here, have plenty of gold income now. I completely own his base, as I will keep slowly pushing in here. With only one trap. Well, I didn't build more, I guess, lack of gold, but I could have sold some wood and didn't have it. He comes in with knights. I take forever to react. Right here, and the GG is called. And right here, he didn't go for the trebuchet. So that game, I was behind on eco. For the majority of the game, and if this was any kind of pro-level game, I was dead from the very beginning with my TC idle time, with my whatever. He was ahead on eco for most of the game, but by some positioning and getting into imp faster, I bring it back. I bring it back home, and Teutonic Knights being what they are. So that was just a somewhat interesting game, I felt. Easy enough, this was, you know, just a 1v1. So things to reflect on here, obviously, idle TC time is a big one, especially early on. Uh, decision making when it comes to knowing the range and such of castles, understanding, you know, the range with or without their upgrades. So I could have been taking gold that whole time, that would have been helpful. 
here leaving and not unnecessarily losing two villagers just these little things because i knew that castle was coming i do take gold over here too um, but just simple things like that another thing i could have done understanding that georgians end up being relatively predictable because they're just they're always cavalry so rather than trying to beat him at his own game with Teutons, i could have just gone pikeman boomed up and did my teutonic knight play anyway but regardless a pretty good game overall and we'll continue to see how much better I can get. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.